great Oregon shakeout taking place tomorrow. It's important for Oregonians to be prepared and understand what an earthquake could mean for the state. And Newswatch 12's Grace Ritz is live in the studio with us. She spoke with a professor and a scientist who recently did a study on the Cascadia and San Andreas fault lines. Grace, what did you learn about the possibility for future earthquakes? Yeah, thank you, Sam and Oscar. You know, with tomorrow being the great shakeout, I spoke with Chris Goldfinger, who is a professor and researcher of earthquake behavior at Oregon State University. He recently published a paper for a study that showed the Cascadia Fault in Oregon and Washington and the San Andreas Fault in California could be linked with the potential of one earthquake sparking another. The original study started in 2008, but with new research coming out using core sampling from fault lines in both locations, Goldfinger says it shows that an earthquake on the Cascadia Fault will trigger one on the San Andreas. Cascadia goes off, and it looks like from our, from our data, uh, triggering of the San Andreas is not the exception or the black swan, it's, it's the rule. And the more normal case would be for Cascadia to go, and then sometime later, which could be minutes or hours, or it could be days or weeks, or it could be a few decades, that San Andreas would go. Goldfinger says that this added information and data to the study is important for residents across the three states to be prepared, especially since it's unclear when a triggered earthquake could strike. For people in, in the Northwest and in Northern California who typically don't experience earthquakes every day, every week, every year, is just to keep it on the radar. To learn more about the Great Organ Shakeout, how to prepare, and how to sign up for emergency alerts, you can visit our website at kdrv.com. Reporting live in studio, I'm Grace Ritz.